Hey beer tubers, Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Looking at another beer from Great Lakes out of Cleveland, Ohio. And this is their Lake Erie Monster Imperial IPA. Comes in at 9.1% ABV, so let's get this thing open. If you saw my review of their Commodore Perry IPA, I later found out after I finished up the review and I was getting you know information on it that that was actually an English style IPA, which kind of made sense. And then the subscriber sent me out the beers mentioned that a lot of their beers are very, very traditional. So uh, we'll see how their uh, take is on a Imperial IPA. Uh, pours out pretty hazy. It's pretty much a uh, light orange, kind of dark gold color. Half a finger of a uh, pretty bright white head. Let's see if we can swirl up a bit more of that. Seeing a little bit of legs on the glass. Uh, not too much carbonation coming up. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this one definitely has a more uh, malty aroma to it. The hops that are there tend to be a little more floral, and I, I kind of wish they put what they're using exactly on this. But uh, once again, the best four date is about a, a three weeks away from when I'm shooting this review, so not the complete freshest bottle, but you know, within date for drinking. I get a lot of like toffee, fruity yeast esters coming up. Yeah, it's, but, but mostly like hop wise, it's floral, it's kind of earthy a little bit. Slight bit of uh, like a sweet orange, like kind of into like mandarin orange kind of aroma. So maybe some amarillo being used. Yeah, it's a really sweet be it sweet hop and sweet malt aroma on it. So uh, let's dig in, cheers. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it follows the aroma pretty well, but it's not as sweet actually as I thought maybe it would be because it has a very sweet nose. But it follows it well because you're getting sweet hop flavors, you're getting um, some sweeter malt character, but it's actually pretty dry on the finish. Uh, you get some of that 9.1% alcohol. Uh, you can taste that at the end. That kind of helps dry out the palate. It's not a real like sticky beer, at least initially. Up front, you get some bitterness. It's not a complete you know blast of bitterness like a lot of the West Coast style beers are, but it's a good solid, very clean, bittering character to it. Then it has some of those notes that you got on the nose. Uh, certainly a floral component, sweet orange, almost like a ra ruby red grapefruit character to it. So you get some citrus notes, but not overwhelmingly cit citrus. Um, not like super piney, but maybe a, a touch of that in there as well. It has an interesting fruitiness to it, like that stone fruit kind of into like uh, apricot, nectarine, th those kind of lighter fruit notes are uh, very prominent in this one. You get a lot of those kind of up front where the hops are at and then you get a little bit in the finish. So maybe that's coming in through the yeast character, not entirely sure uh, if they're using something other than say Cal L yeast for this. Midway through, a lot of sweetness comes forward from the malt. Big caramel, that yeah, kind of caramel toffee note. Uh, real nice breadiness, sweet bread kind of character. And then it goes to a nice dry finish, which Kind of scared me on the nose, but it it drinks a lot like uh, more of a barley wine than Imperial IPA. Drinking out some more, start to pick up some sweet apple notes. There's almost like a hint of like a berry note in there as well. I I'm really enjoying between the two IPAs. I really love their malt character. This one might have a little bit too much caramel malt for what I prefer in a double IPA, but yeah, that the the base malt they're using is fantastic and. Just a really, really nice character to the beer. So they, they absolutely nail that that base character. I just wish you know the hops were a bit more amplified, uh, a little more bitterness, a little more less caramel malt. Um, it does finish dry, like I said, but there's just a little too much sweetness in there. But it does have some nice you know intricacies with the with the fruitiness on it. It's definitely more like a fruit forward than a citrus forward IPA. A touch of earthiness in there as well. So. 
you know, it's a pretty solid beer. I'm going to go B minus on this one. I think it's certainly above average. As it warms, the alcohol tends to come out a little bit more. So, you know, it, it's not the most drinkable double IPA. It's, it's not quite as refreshing as, as some, but, you know, it's pretty well put together beer from Great Lakes. So another shot of the label of Lake Erie Monster. Thanks to my subscriber for sending this one out to me. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.